Hello everyone, welcome to my channel CSE Partshala. We were studying about machine learning using Python 3 and in this tutorial we will study about NumPy array assignment. So if you talk about assignment in a programming language, uh, if we consider two variables for example a and b and uh, if we assign a value a equal to 5 and then if you do b equal to a that means the value of a is assigned to b that means b is also equal to 5. So uh, this is a general case for uh, how we can assign values to the variables. Similarly, we can assign uh, values to arrays also in NumPy. Okay. So when assigning NumPy arrays, we can take a note that how arrays are uh, assigned. That's very much important. So there are various ways um, in which we can assign NumPy arrays. So the first one is copying by reference. So in order to understand this, let's consider a code first and implement it on Jupyter Notebook. Okay, so in this code, we will check how to declare a NumPy array. Okay, so import NumPy as np. Here we are taking a list. These are respectively the elements. We have taken a variable array one and uh, np dot array. We have given list as an input here and then we are printing the value of array 1. Okay, so uh, array 1 is a numpy array. Okay, so le let's save this code, run this code. So here is the output. It's a 2D array or we can say that it's a rank 2. Okay, so the next thing is if you want to assign array 1 to another variable that is array 2. Okay, that means uh, a copy of array has been created by this phenomena. So how we have to implement this thing? Let's consider a code again and implement it here. Okay, so import numpy as np. Again, we are taking the same list. Okay, and uh, this list we will give as an input to np dot array okay so this is your array one okay we are printing its value so print array one okay uh, this is what we have seen in the previous example also now what we are doing in this step it's a very important step we are performing assignment okay so the value of array one is assigned to value of array two and then we are printing array two Okay, so let's save this code and run this code. So um, it's quite clear from the output that we are getting the same values of both the arrays. Okay, now here array 2 is actually pointing to the original array 1. Okay, uh, we already uh, talked uh, that it's uh, been copying by reference. So the value of array 1 is equal to value of array 2 and array 2 is actually pointing to original array 1 so the changes can be made uh, in any of the array and it will affect to both okay if we do change in one it will affect to other how it can uh, be performed let's consider a code again so here is the code let's implement it here so import numpy as np Again, we are taking the list, okay, and we are giving it as an input to here np dot array, okay, and this is your array one, numpy array. We are printing its value. We are performing the assignment, okay. That means array two equal to array one. Then we are printing the value of array two. Uh, this all we did in the previous example. Now the point is. If we perform a change in any of the array, for example, we are doing a change in array 2. So array 2, 0, 0. As we uh, know that this is a 2D array, okay, or uh, it's of rank 2. So if we do a change in its first element, okay, so we are updating its value by 11, okay. And then we are printing the value of array 2, and then we are printing the value of array 1. So let's see, we did a change in array 2. What will happen uh, to array 1? So let's save this code, run this code. So these are the original array 1, array 2, 
and these are the updated values the value of array 2 here it has been updated as 11 similarly okay so this is array 1 actually uh, here it is this is array 1 okay so the value of let's save it again and print so the value of array 2 has been updated we did it and the value of array 1 is also updated similar to array 2 okay now uh, we have also studied about the concept of reshaping arrays in the previous lectures also and uh, here uh, we used to change the shape of a nd array with the help of a reshape function and uh, in addition to the reshape function we are also having a shape property and in a shape property we can change the dimension of an array for example we can change uh, the dimension of an array of rank 2 to rank 1 this uh, thing we can perform okay so uh, what are the changes uh, it uh, can uh, make if we uh, perform the assignment let's see in a code okay so let's consider a code here and implement it on jupyter notebook all right import numpy as np again we are taking the same list and we are declaring an array 1 as we did before we are printing its value here we are performing the assignment okay array 2 equal to array 1 and then we are printing the value of array 2 also so um, this all we seen previously also and now the thing is we are changing the dimension of array 1 with the help of a shape property so array 1 dot shape equal to 1 comma minus 1 so what does 1 comma minus 1 means 1 means that your array is of rank 2 we are converted it into rank 1 and the minus 1 means uh, it depends upon the system to choose how many columns uh, the output will uh, have after the conversion of rank 2 to rank 1 okay we are uh, giving this uh, opportunity to the system itself to decide how many columns uh, it has to be uh, make for the output okay and then what we are doing is uh, we are printing the value of array 1 and then we are printing the value of array 2 both are updated okay so let's save this code run this code so here it is these are the original values of array 1 and array 2 and these are the updated values of array 1 and array 2 so we are seeing that rank 2 of array 1 has been converted into rank 1 okay and similarly the change is been also seen in array 2 it is also been converted into rank 1 okay so this we can do with a shape property okay now uh, copying by view this is uh, one more uh, method with which we can perform the assignment so uh, in numpy we are having a view function and uh, it is used to create a copy of an array by a reference and while at the same time ensuring that the changing the shape of original array does not affect the shape of the copy okay so uh, as you have seen previously that if we change the shape uh, it will also affect on the assigned uh, array but uh, if we are using view function it will not change the shape of the copy array okay this is also known as a shallow copy okay so let's uh, consider one example and implement it and uh, we will see it practically how it works so let's implement it here order import numpy as np we are taking the same list here we are giving it as an input and uh, here we are getting array 1 we are printing its value that means print array 1 and then array 2 here we are assigning it to um, array uh, 1 in a different manner that means array 2 is equal to array 1 dot view okay we are performing a shallow copy of array 1 in the form of array 2 and then we are printing its value so let's see what's the output obviously the output will be the same because it's a copy uh, uh, right now so obviously the output is same but uh, what changes it will occur we will see uh, in the next program that if you modify the value of array 1 uh, we will uh, see the changes in array 2 okay so what changes it will show let's consider a code okay 
so here it is okay so import numbers and we list here we are again taking this list into uh, array 1 this is a numpy array array 1 we are performing the same thing as we did in the previous program array 2 equal to array 1 dot view that means we have created its shallow copy we are printing array 2 also okay and then what we did is we did a change here in array 1 and we have updated a value of array 1 0 0 this uh, positioned element to 11 and then we are printing the value of array 1 and the value of array 2 okay so let's check this code we have saved it run it okay so these are the original arrays and these are the arrays which we got after the updation in array 1 so it's uh, quite clear that if we update the value of array 1 it will also update the value of array 2 if we consider a case of shallow copy with the help of view okay but there is one thing um, we have seen here is if we change the shape of array 1 it will not affect that's what uh, is mentioned here in shallow copying if we change the shape of array 1 array 2 is unaffected however if we update the value of array 1 it will uh, get affected that's, that's what we have seen previously okay so let's uh, consider a code also for this one if we are changing the shape okay so how does it will affect let's see so here is our code and uh, let's understand it import numpy as np again it's a list and uh, this is your array 1 numpy array and uh, we are printing this array here then uh, we are creating a shallow copy of array 1 in the form of array 2 we are printing array 2 and uh, we have changed the shape of array 1 that is 1 comma minus 1 we have already un understood that what does it means and then we are printing the updated values of array 1 and array 2 so let's see what happens save this code run this code all right so it's clear that these are the original values of array 1 and or array 2 but we have updated the value of array 1 we have converted a shape from rank 2 to rank 1 it did but it uh, doesn't uh, change anything in array 2 okay it is same as it is so shallow copy does not create a change if we uh, do update the shape of the original array all right so the next thing is we can also perform a deep copy okay that means copying by value so what does this deep copy means uh, the deep copy uh, here we will use copy function okay so let's check first the basic code how uh, it works so here it is import numpy as np here is again the same list we are uh, declaring array 1 okay so this is a numpy array and then uh, we are creating a deep copy of array 1 in the form of array 2 so array 2 equal to array 1 dot copy so we are using copy function here and then we are printing the value of array 1 and the value of array 2 okay so let's see this code run this code so here it is so obviously array 1 and array 2 are both same okay now what will happen is the copy function creates a deep copy of the array and uh, it creates a complete copy actually of the array and the data so if you assign the copy of the array to another variable it changes made on the shape of the original array would not affect its copy okay so here what's happening is we have created one more uh, ex extra copy of the original array that means we have copied the complete array and its data so it, it's been it's been now a completely different thing so whatever the changes we made in an original array it will not affect into the uh, the copied array okay so how does it work let's consider a code here okay so here it is we'll implement this code import numpy as np and um, again we are declaring a list and uh, we are giving a list into the array and then uh, we are printing the value of array 1 so this is array 1 we are printing its value and then we are creating a deep copy of array 1 uh, in the form of array 2 okay and then we are printing its value now what we are doing is we are changing the value of array 1 okay uh, we are updating its uh, one of the element uh, which is positioned at 0 0 okay 
and after rotation we are printing the value of array 1 and we are also printing the value of array 2. Now uh, as we have already uh, uh, discussed that uh, array 2 is a completely different copy of array uh, 1. So whatever the changes done in array 1 uh, it will not affect in array 2. So let's uh, first save this code, run this code. So here it is. It's quite clear. This is your array 1, array 2 both are same. Now we have updated the value of array 1 but uh, no changes in array 2 because it's a very different thing. Similarly, if you just change the shape, what will happen? Now let's consider a code again. We are changing the shape of array 1 now. Okay. So import numpy's np again the list uh, we uh, are again declare array 1 printing its value. We are creating a deep copy of array 1 in the form of array 2 here. We are printing its value also. This is all uh, we seen previously. Now the thing is we are changing the shape of array 1. So array 1 dot shape equal to 1 comma minus 1. This we know what does it means. And uh, then we are printing the updated value of array 1 and the value of array 2 also. So array 1 is of rank 2. It will be converted into rank 1. But our main focus is what will happen to array 2. So let's save this code run this code so here it is these are the original arrays that means array 1 array 2 okay array 1 is updated its shape has been changed from rank 2 to rank 1 but the value of array 2 is all same so no effect on array 2 okay so this is all about numpy array assignment and uh, we will come up with more exciting lectures thanks for watching kindly subscribe to my channel